but he never looked better. Thanks, SpongeBob. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Cody. The guy you see on screen is Eli, and today we collected a ton of money from some of our vending machines, including a triple shot machine, our seven foot tall gumball machine, two coin pushers, and some of our full line machines. We're so excited to be back at it. First up, we are here at Lee's Chicken, and look how low peanut M&Ms are and nerd gumballs. We're going to go ahead and unlock that top and get this nice and full so actually whenever we walked in there was a uh, a lady sitting at the uh, table and uh she actually had some candy with her because she liked uh the peanut m and so much uh she said that she would eat them every day from the machine and this is actually the first day that uh the dining area was open so i thought that was pretty cool um our state opened up and we just decided to go out and uh and see what machines we could get to but let's go ahead and turn around this machine let's open her up and see what we got going on oh guys we have a waterfall absolutely beautiful eli and i were just completely surprised when we saw this i mean it was kind of a dead giveaway as soon as we saw how low peanut m ms were and gumballs but still you know, granted, with all this uh, coronavirus stuff going on, uh, to, to come in and see how low this machine was, uh, it was a pleasant surprise. So Eli's got the rest out of there, and we are looking at 77.50, and just wow, just like, um, like I said, a very pleasant surprise. We got that tilt going on that we haven't seen in a while, and Eli's going to go pick up some uh, escapees. But yeah, and man, I love that blue. I think I say that every time, but wow, I don't, I don't know. It just looks so good. But guys, up next, we are at a car detail where our machine uh, doesn't need any. Uh, we're not going to add on to it. We're not going to fill it up at all. So just taking a look at it here, the Reese's Pieces, the Skittles, and the Peanut M&Ms are looking A-OK. -okay. Let's go ahead and open her up. And yeah, so uh, this right here is what we were more expecting to see this kind of collection. Um, especially in like a like a car detailing place like this. Uh, it's not essential, so it is what it is. We were looking at $17.50 and, and yeah, just no surprise. They've been closed for weeks. This is a load of barnacles. I heard that! Um, but it should pick it should pick back up, you know, uh, having our state open and, and all of that stuff. So not too bad. Next up, we are at our seven foot tall gumball machine. And uh, I just love checking this one out. And and these guys um, at this candy or at sorry, this ice cream uh, shop, they actually do delivery. So they actually sell their ice creams by the pint and they also sell milk. So uh, you can either come in or you could go and uh, and deliver it. But looking at those quarters just from the bottom there, it's not looking too bad. Eli will grab them out. He'll check to see if there's any spillage in there. And that's not too terrible. You know, I, like, I, you know, I've mentioned, you know, granted everything that's going on, but dump those quarters in and we're looking at 60 bucks even way to start. Let's open this magazine pretty good. That is actually pretty good. Uh, we are looking at $72 in cash. And uh, and don't forget about those credit card sales or just card sales in general. Uh, we got $21.50 from those. So a total of $153.50 for the month, uh, which is low for that spot, but it is what it is. Next up, we are at our gas station location. Uh, which seems to always kill it and they have not been closed for this coronavirus um, Actually, I'm not sure of any gas stations around our uh, Area that have been closed for the coronavirus, but open her up and boom just like that uh, It just performs well, you know, it doesn't it doesn't give a hoot about any virus. So Eli's gonna rake through that money with his hands and look at that spillage excellent stuff excellent 
All right, we got all of the quarters picked up and looking good. Eli's going to fish for this quarter. There it is. And we're good. Let's go ahead and dump this into the scale and see what we got here. This is a uh, three-week collection. Got to come by and fill up the change machine. It seems like it's a constant struggle. So we are looking at 374.50. Just fantastic. Just so good. So awesome. And guys, next up, we are at our nursing home and speaking of corona proof just look at that face mask look at those gloves i i am styling with uh with all this stuff going on but guys we got the machine all filled up look at those snacks well not all i guess there are two empty slots but let's look at the coins and not too bad uh this these aren't uh ever too totally crazy with uh coins let's take a look at this magazine and bang that is what i'm talking about that's the good stuff right there let's shuffle through that a little bit and appreciate it a little bit nice good stuff the last time we were here was 11 days ago this is 11 day uh collection and that was 136.50 so also including card sales but let's go ahead and take a look at this see how it did the coins a little lackluster uh it did uh it did have a jam so it was a little low but the but the dollar bills was not sweating it at all very very nice we're looking at 66.50 but uh, I think I think you would have done a little bit better if uh, that jam wasn't in there. But we're going to hit that button, reset. We reloaded the machine, so we are good to go here. Lock it up. And let's go ahead and move on to the next set of machines. All right, we are back here at the break room area. Not quite in the break room, but around it. Close enough, and we got it all filled up with snacks, looking just fine. I guess I always say that, completely filled up, but, you know, it's not. <laughs> now, this killed it on coins, not too shabby at all. Look at all that, wow. And let's go ahead and take that magazine off. All right, another fat. Cool. Look at that. We are looking at 121.75 all together. And this pouch is getting nice and full. That's the way it ought to be. And let's crack into this soda machine, see what we got. And we got a lonely dime. That is the loneliest dime I've ever seen. And open this. Boom. Not too bad at all. So eighty-one fifty for this soda machine. We'll take it. These nurses, man, they've they've been working like crazy, and we've probably been out to the nursing home more than more than any of our other spots here of late. So, I mean, it makes sense. And guys, yeah, this is this is probably the. The most saddest uh, I've ever seen vending. I mean, they got like the like the paint protectors all over it and taped up, and that was at another uh, grocery store. But here we are at our coin pusher grocery store. We got the toy rack, and of course we have the silver strike. Let's open her up, see what we got, and boom! Never disappoints. Never does. This is a two-week collection, and Eli's got a fish for that rag. Looking good. Got some uh, some quarters up there on the power supply. And Eli's going to grab the rest of those quarters on the bottom there. And let's dump that bonus. Let's restart there a little bit, and there's just one up there. There we go. 
All right, let's take this over to the scale and see what we got. Now, I think uh, I think there was like four pennies in there, uh, something like that, and we accidentally had the the scale set to fifty cents. So go ahead and fix that really quick, and let's get to dumping. All right, all right, three eighty three twenty five and. You can see some pennies in there, so, you know, let's call it 382.50, something like that. So, um, so guys, that makes today's total $1,412. Uh, I absolutely love it. So glad to be back at it. We will see you guys in the next one, hopefully soon. Goodbye.